Hi everybody. So we'll be talking about uh, Drupal Bangalore community and uh, how we grew from a small community to a final plus member team. <coughs> so how many of you are from India? Okay, Bangalore. Okay, great. Okay. So yeah. So this is Gokul and myself, uh, Chakrapani. So we work for a company called Azri Solutions. So I'm from Bangalore and I work as a Drupal architect at a company called Azure Solutions. And I've been working with Drupal since 2009 and uh, lately I've been tinkering with uh, Golang and Elixir as well. And I'm a core contributor and I've worked on contributed modules as well. And uh, most importantly I've been involved with uh, Drupal Bangalore community since 2011. And I'm also involved in the program team at uh, DrupalCon Asia. I mean, since from the research and planning, uh, I'm part of the program team. Hi. Uh, this is Gokul. I graduated from RVC. I've been in Bangalore for last uh, five years. Recently, I moved to Hyderabad. And uh, I'm a, uh, formerly, I was a Java developer at a company called Mindtree. I've been a Java developer for two years, after which I moved to Drupal. So Drupal was something that started off as a hobby and then I saw promise and then finally I made a career shift after two years. Since then I've been working on Drupal and uh, at Azure Solutions. Uh, I'm the lead maintainer for a uh, module called uh, Automator. It's a marketing automation integration uh, module. It's basically a uh, 360 degree integration with websites so that you can completely automate your marketing paradigm and also you can make sure that your website is in response to whatever data that is collected so that you have a complete feedback loop. And uh, uh, I'm also co-founder for a small merchandise startup called as As It Is and the whole site is uh, built on Drupal. That was one of the reasons I actually moved to Drupal because I could start a uh, small uh, business without any investment in website. So all the investment that I had to do was my learning of Drupal. And uh, I'm also a bowling addict. So if anybody is up for a game tonight, please let me know. Yeah. Uh, so what we'll be talking today is uh, we'll talk about com community. So when you say community, what is community? We'll discuss about that. And we'll also share uh, a short story and uh, how we became what we are today. So. Also, we'll talk about what do we mean by contributions. We have been hearing a lot about contributions, and this is the first time we have a separate track for contributions as well. So we'll talk about what contribution means as well, and we'll talk about how uh, Drupal Bangalore is uh, contributing to Drupal. So we'll also talk about what's the impact of the Bangalore community. Yeah. So what is Drupal community? So community is nothing but people, obviously. So when we say Drupal community, it's all the people that are involved with uh, Drupal in various ways. So we generally talk about developers. Obviously, that's the first thing which comes to the mind. And in Drupal, there is something called site builders who don't necessarily work with the code, but still work with Drupal. And a lot of individuals and teams who organize local events like meetups, trainings and code sprints and Drupal evangelists and business development teams who work very hard to promote Drupal. So, yeah, so uh, let me just run you through the brief history of uh, our Drupal community in Bangalore. So let's call it just instead of calling it history, let's just say this is our story. And uh, the beginning, this is how uh, Drupal Bangalore community began. It all started with a meetup in uh, May 2010, and uh, it was organized by a, a member called as uh, Anil Sagar, so who also used to work with us. And uh, the first session that he had organized, there were only four attendees. So that's how it began in Bangalore. And uh, then he carried on and uh, there were a uh, few events that uh, they were organizing. And then uh, one of the major changes that happened was uh, uh, D7 release party. So that was the first time, I mean, till D6, Drupal had a linear growth. And D7 was when there was a change in perception about Drupal. So this was the first D7 meetup. And uh, that's when uh, Chakri joined. So that was almost around uh, four years ago. 
And an interesting thing is, uh, that was the right time when I was moving from Java to Drupal. So I was kind of deciding as to whether I have to move to Drupal or not. And it was a time when I, I had started with Drupal 6 and then we had Drupal 7 coming up. So whether to start with Drupal 6 or directly start with Drupal 7. So those were the questions that I had in mind. And in fact, the funny thing is that uh, I had RSVP for the event, but uh, the RSVPs were closed. So unluckily, I was not able to attend the event. But uh, that was the beginning. But uh, later on, I joined the team. So can anyone recognize where I am? Many times. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's when I moved to Bangalore. So I was uh, before that I was working with uh, Drupal Hyderabad community. I used to work there. So so I was uh, working with Drupal Hyderabad community and then moved to Bangalore. So that's when uh, Drupal Seven release party happened. So then after that, uh, there were uh, regular meetups that used to happen and uh, as I told you, so I was not able to attend the Drupal 7 release party but later on I became a part of the group and uh, uh, we had uh, regular uh, meetups that uh, Chakri and I were carrying on and uh, so uh, there used to be a uh, joke that, uh, uh, so we both used to stay for most of the meetups and generally Chakri used to set up an event on meetup and we generally used to ask for speakers. So it used to be like, he was the one who used to take care of all the logistics. And we wait for the day before to see if there are any speakers. And then I would get a call in the night saying that there are no speakers, you're up for the session. So <laughs> that used to be the way how we began. But uh, today as you can see, uh, along as we kept on doing meetups, so we started get, uh, gaining steam and uh, more and more people joined. And uh, one of the th uh, interesting things that happened was uh, we started reaching out to colleges. So initially what used to happen in Bangalore was there were many people working on Drupal in their companies but it all used to be in their isolated environments. So bringing them all together was a challenge initially and uh, starting with colleges was something that also gave us uh, motivation because uh, the students were generally like in their third year, fourth year. So one of the major uh, concerns would be about their career, what would be good for them and uh, having a day long session with them. In fact, we actually, uh, we did not begin with Drupal. We also told them what LAMP was, what web is, and uh, we, we made sure that they had, the, uh, they had the interest in web development. And uh, then we gave them an option of Drupal and how Drupal could be considered as a career. So though we had uh, begun sessions in uh, Drupal, so Drupal, there was an option for Drupal, but Drupal was still not being considered as a major option for career. But today we have so many people who have built their careers on Drupal. And uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, people feel that they have to give back to the community and uh, we have more participation from the companies. And uh, as I told you, when we started, it was uh, primarily we had to announce and we had to wait for people. We had to decide what dates were better. So this was kind of a turning point for us, especially in Bangalore. So what we tried to do was we tried to uh, set up a statement saying that last started of every month would be the Drupal meter. So the moment this happened, it became easy for everybody, not only for us, because we could organize and we could plan. And also for all the attendees, they need not think about when would be the next meetup. So everybody knows that it's going to happen in the last Saturday of the month and they could plan their calendar accordingly. So the other thing with this is we, this is also means that we are committing to a very long period. So we are not saying that, you know, this month there's a meetup and there's no meetup next month. So this means that we are committing to every Saturday of every month. So people also can easily plan and remember they don't need to uh, check their meetup calendars every time to come to the meetup. So they can just check uh, is it the last Saturday of the month or not. The same for us as well. And uh, as we went ahead, uh, uh, we had a few other people joining. For example, in the early adopters, we had uh, Hussein. So who used to be the who used to be present at most of our meetups, but uh, he's not the same Hussein that you know now. So he was a very shy guy who. Never used to speak up. So uh, he was also there at the Drupal 7 release party yeah. as well. So he was a very regular attendee in almost all the meetups. The same shy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so and then uh, as, it, as it says, uh, so after a few meetups, he went on from passive mode to active mode, and uh, now we all know about his contributions and uh, his sessions. And uh, similarly, we had. Uh, uh, Mrs. Jaya. So uh, this, this is an interesting personality because uh, she she's not a, she's not from a coding background. So generally, whenever we have meetups, we have all these coders coming up and not site builders or anybody who is working with Drupal on their own. So she was in fact like an example for many people. So she was a lady who was working from her own home. She didn't know how to code, 
but she was still building websites and uh, delivering it to clients so she was like uh, her single line used to be if i can make it why can't you so that was a major line for her and through that uh, she was able to motivate uh, many ladies also and also students and uh, uh, vishnu also along with uh, hussein vishnu was another guy who was uh, regularly present at our meetups and uh, Hussein and Vishnu, generally you might uh, see them missing in many photos because uh, they are our star photographers, so you generally find them behind the cameras. And uh, uh, recent additions, uh, we have uh, Sudish from uh, TCS and uh, Neeraj from Value Bound. So they, have, they played a very critical role in organizing uh, uh, Drupal camp that we had in Bangalore as well as uh, many meetups and trainings that we had after that. And uh, uh, so it's not just a few people that I have mentioned here, there are many people and the list goes on and on. And as I told you, so today there are more than uh, 530 people in our community, both in uh, groups.drupal.org as well as Meter. So that's a uh, huge team. So uh, I'll say a little bit about how we grew. So what all help does do in the process. So one thing as I mentioned is consistent meetups. So even though we were doing meetups before, uh, they were a little bit irregular. So once we strategized to have meetups on every last Saturday, uh, things changed and everybody allowed to come to the meetups uh, every month. And there were a lot of other people as well who wanted to help us uh, you know, organize meetups and do trainings at various uh, places as well. And so we also, uh, as uh, mentioned earlier we reached out to colleges and uh, conducted a lot of uh, global training days as well so there were few students who were interested and in joined the community as well and we slowly started uh, organizing code sprints so those days uh, contributing to Drupal core was uh, a very foreign idea so we started with uh, code sprints as well so we had uh, like uh, two people coming to the code sprints I still remember uh, just three people sitting in the office and uh, finishing a couple of issues so and, and a lot of uh, support from the local community members and involvement was a uh, was very key in uh, achieving uh, the success. So active participation from corporates helped us a lot. So most I mean like uh, in all these process we used to host meetups and uh, for everything we had full support. The only thing we needed was our uh, energy and interest. And uh, partnerships with non-profits. So we also partnered with uh, uh, Free Software Movement Karnataka and uh, IEEE student body as well, so that we can reach to other open source communities as well as uh, student bodies within the educational institutions. This was one of the key decisions which also helped us uh, propagate Drupal. So uh, we uh, we use various tools for organizing meetups and keeping everybody in the loop. But uh, the thumb rule is that make sure that uh, groups.drupal.org is a primary resource because that's where everybody checks in. So whenever we had uh, any events, we made sure that it was on uh, groups.drupal.org. And uh, one of the things that people generally miss out is when meetups, you have so many new people coming to the meetups for the first time. So it's very important to tell them that what is the important thing for drupal.org, why should they create a profile on drupal.org and why should they join groups.drupal.org. So that was one thing that we made sure that at the end of every meetup, we made sure that uh, we passed on that information. And over the time, we had the numbers increasing in groups.drupal. And uh, as I told you, uh, so generally we used to announce all the events on uh, uh, Drupal, uh, groups.drupal.org, but uh, for RSVP, we primarily used uh, meetup.com because it was very convenient and it was easy for people to RSVP. So. Uh, that was, that was about meter. Uh, the other thumb rule, thumb rule is uh, whenever we get RSVPs in the meter, so we can we, we just need to plan for 50% of it. So that's almost the exact average. So if we plan for 50% of the actual RSVPs, that would be good, good enough. So along with RSVPs, it used to help us uh, get the organizing uh, things. Do you get, um, did you get 15% RSVPs it's 50 percent. See, it's actually uh, from the RSVPs to actual attendees. So, if 100 people RSVP to the event, 50 percent would turn up on the actual meetup, the so day of the meetup. Is that same for all the types of meetups or, or more for regular versus 
Yeah, uh, for coach sprints you generally have uh, lesser attendance, but for the general <coughs> builders, uh, based on the numbers it used to be like uh, uh, 10 out of 1 used to RSVP and out of that only 15% used to turn out for the year. So once we got those rules it was easier for us to plan. So for global training days we had a better attendance as we were reaching out to colleges and it, it was uh, made as a compulsory session and stuff. So it depends on, on uh, college to college. They made it compulsory? For, for that day of the we work with IEEE in uh, Vishweshwari University. It was like, you know, it's a Saturday, it's a learning session for you, you must attend. So, yeah. So, so if you work out with uh, <laughs> professors and things, it, so they will make it compulsory for them. It's just one day of the training. Yeah. So, as usual, we used uh, Facebook for primary, uh, primarily for marketing. So we also made sure that we create, uh, whenever we had an important event, we create uh, events on sales, sales. Also, so which helped us uh, propagate to more people. Which better platform than Facebook to reach to people. And uh, uh, Slack was something that we started using off late, especially uh, it's really helpful when you are planning a bigger event. For example, we started with uh, Drupal Camp Bangalore, so there were so many threads of communications that used to happen. So Slack was very helpful because uh, we could have a channel for each communication. So for example, you have different people in each category. So for marketing, we had one channel and for planning one channel. And also we try to have uh, various integrations. For example, uh, the website where the registrations happen for the Drupal camp, we had an integration with Slack so that uh, we could track all the registrations in real time. So this was something that gave us uh, better insights and, and uh, it helped us plan reach out to people. Especially for Drupal Camp Bangalore, so this was something that uh, Neeraj was particularly concentrating and whenever we have less notifications, he used to make sure that the team reaches out to all the people who had to register. So uh, if you actually see the screenshot, you see all the registrations, registration received from user and so on. So whenever there is somebody who is registering for Drupal Camp, we'll get a notification. So that's also very exciting for the people, uh, motivating to the people who are actually working. Yeah. yeah so that's one important thing. Uh, not only here, uh, Slack is also used almost uh, globally within the Drupal community. So we are using Slack within the Pan India Drupal community and we are using Slack for DrupalCon Asia as well. And uh, since the website for Drupal Camp was built on Drupal, so the integration was as simple as enabling a module and setting up few rules. So, and uh, we had the integration. Yeah, so we are talking about contributions. So contributions are more than code. So it's not just about code. So generally, when we talk about contributions, we talk about core contributions. If you see uh, this keynote, so the contributions he was talking about was core contributions. So the top 10 core contributors. So uh, the contributed modules also play a major role uh, in helping Drupal. So patches and rerolls. The documentation edits. So this is something we generally stress whenever we have a code sprint and there are new people who wants to start contributing documentation edits and testing as well. So it's also important like if everybody is coding who will test. So it's very important to uh, have people test the issue queues as well. Great. After Drupal in a day we'll, today we'll will to join groups of Drupal.org which is a primary communication channel and also Drupal.org. What is it? First time contributors because you don't have to code, you can be documenting and testing. Yeah, so that's contributions again. So if you want to give back initially, so you can go to the first time or is contributions spent as well. Yeah. Allowed to talk to the client.